Three times we glassed him. I can't believe it. Yeah. He was so up for it. That was great. Hi, I'm Will. I'm Ed. We're the Reeds. And we recently directed the music video for James Blake's single, Thrown Around, and we shot it using the Insta360 X4. So we're going to watch it and talk through a few of our favourite moments mm -hmm. and how the camera sort of helped us make the film. Yeah. Should we go? Let's do it. Right, let's go. Hello, everyone. Uh, just tapping in, like dialing in and that, uh, and just saying that I'm like really So this kind of sets up the concept of the video really nicely. James has been asked to go and make content to promote his new single. He's now an independent artist. All of that responsibility falls on him. And of course, immediately he gets his phone stolen by a bike thief, which is a big problem in London at the minute, which yeah. we kind of wanted to feature as a comedic beat, but also as mm -hmm. something that's like, we understand. This it is, is true. Really yeah. It's true. Yeah. But in this scene, we cut to the Insta360 X4 for the first time, which I was worried about when we were in pre-production on this, because we're cutting from a cinema camera to the 360 yeah. camera. Mm -hmm. But that camera is so good, and the colours are so beautiful from that sensor, that actually you don't even really notice it, especially because we could grade it the same. Yeah. And another great feature of the X4 that we were able to use in this scene is the fact that because we're shooting in 360, mm. we've got an A and a B angle all in one yeah. take. So you can go from our shot of James to essentially his POV to see the geography of the chase and see the thief getting away, which yeah. we found super useful as a storytelling mechanic. You know? That was a moment where shooting 360 was basically yeah. like the only way of yeah. getting that. It wasn't essential. It yeah. wasn't essential. Oh my God, bro. What? Do you remember that bit? What, the phone? Oh my God, the phone yeah, booth yeah, yeah. bit. So oh basically, take one, day one. James has the camera on the end of the rig. We hadn't quite figured out the length of yeah, it Yeah, it was quite long. Yeah, and uh, we decided to send him into an incredibly confined space. Yeah, they're quite low. Quite low. Mm. And uh, the camera just instantly hits into the side of the telephone booth. And the lens guard is completely scuffed in yeah. spray paint and dirt and it gets a little crack in it. I think we just looked at each other like oh, straight right. away. Is that going to be a problem? Yes. And uh, it would have been, but luckily the lens guards can just... They're removable. Yep, they're removable. You can take them off. Replaceable. We put a new one on. It's great. But... Always carry spares. Yep. That's advice from the field. Three times we glassed him. I can't believe it. Yeah. He was so up for it. Though. It was great. That is such a good showcase of that POV. You know, it does feel like a sort of real life Grand Theft Auto mm. locked on point of view. Yeah. yeah. And that's also, I think, testament to how good the camera is at yeah. removing its own mount. Yes. Using all the clever Definitely. algorithms and software and the AI chip in the camera that it can sort of paint out its own support structure. And that was such a gift because we were able to write so many of those moments in. It's amazing. It's kind of when a magician makes a card levitate and you're looking yeah. for the wires. Yeah. Like, where is yeah. it? Because they get exactly. so close to him exactly. at so many points. Exactly. Like, how are they doing that? But they take me oh. I mean, that slow motion sequence to me is one of the best showcases of the stabilization in the camera as yeah. well, because even though there's so much going on and we're cutting mm -hmm. between all those different locations and the camera's at different heights, because that was shot across three days, yeah. every shot, when we got it into post, could be lined up and locked into the same position really easily. Yeah, and the battery life is so amazing on the camera that James was able to stay in character throughout the entire day, as we didn't need to stop and change it at any point, really. I think a lot of that had to do with how easy to use the rig that Fraser built was. Mm -hmm. Fraser's our ACDP rig builder mm -hmm. extraordinaire who kind of developed the look of this third person snorry using the X4. Um, I mean, do you want to come and chat about some of that now? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I mean, what was the thinking? When 360 hammers started to come out, 
you started seeing that kind of impossible, the invisible shot. Yeah, shot. Yeah. Exactly. After a while, you could maybe start to kind of clock that the movement of the hand was perfectly aligned mm. with the camera. <laughs> so it kind of gave away they were holding it. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. it kind of locks off them being able to do anything with that, right? So I wanted something that, you know, really captured the whole body, mm. that kind of third person video game feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But being able to have the quality that we get on this camera yeah. and it be as agile that you can run, you know, you can fall on the floor and it not impede on his performance. It was like really vital yeah. to be yeah. able to, you know, execute the shot like we wanted to. And you can sort of, you know. Look at that. Aww. Anyway, phrase, legend. Thank you again to Insta360 for inviting us to come and tell you a little bit more about how we made the video. Mm -hmm. We are very proud of the video. We are indeed. And if you've not seen it already, go check it out. It's a great showcase of what the mm. X4 is capable of and it's a great performance and tune from James. Yeah, it's a great song. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank bye. You.